All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of Data Stage 2 PySpark Converter by Bladebridge. In this session, we'll demonstrate how to convert data stage jobs to PySpark using Bladebridge's technology. Uh, the technology that I'm going to demonstrate is called DS to any. If I run the converter from command line without any command line options, it will give me help. A uh, typical set of parameters would include the license key file, a single input, uh, a single XML file input, or a folder with multiple XML files and subfolders. Output folder the code generation language, so it could be PySpark or SQL. So out of date stage job, we can generate either SQL or PySpark. And uh, minus U option with custom overrides. The custom overrides config file will tell the converter how to handle date stage uh, expressions, uh, how to convert function calls or date stage variables, etc. So I'm gonna take this job it's a sample job with several components, such as transforms, aggregators, lookups, source and targets. And um, first thing that I need to do is export this file. So once I export the file, I get the, the stage XML export, and this is what the converter operates on. Uh, the command line has all the necessary arguments. So it's taking the license key file that BladeBridge uh, generates a single file, which is that sample job 05, the code generation language, which is PySpark. Um, this is just a, uh, just a system file for the converter, uh, minus O, the output folder, and min minus U, the config file. And I'm going to dive into the config file in a few minutes. Minus V is an optional parameter, just gives the ability to generate verbose log, which is sometimes useful for debugging purposes. Uh, the config file is a, is a JSON file where the user can specify how to set up readers and writers for partic particular data types, and also how to convert expressions, how to substitute lines, how to substitute function calls, and so on. And I'll get into this um, in a bit. So I'm going to run the actual command line. And my output folder is this. So currently it's empty. Once I run the converter, and it takes just a few seconds to run it, the converter will produce file. And the PySpark file will replicate the flow and the logic of the data stage job. So everything that we see in the file is really a replica of the original date stage code. So in this file, the converter <coughs> replicated the stages that um, get the data from, from the sources, DSLink 14, DSLink 2. These are the two. Um, so this is just a simple replication of the SQL statement. You can optionally convert the SQL statement to uh, to another um, SQL dialect if needed. And then the actual PySpark syntax starts. Uh, so here we have every data frame representing each link in the data stage job. The expressions in, within data stage get converted to PySpark expressions. So we no longer see data stage expressions. And then at the end of the job, uh, the last frame gets written into the target uh, into the, the target object. So we can also set up the writers. So this uh, dot write mode append dot JDBC is a configurable construct in a convert, and I'll go into that uh, in a bit. Now let me dive into some of these expressions. So let's take link DS DS link four, which is right here. So if I look at the structure of this link, uh, this is this particular output, DS link four. So if I compare it to what I have in in the Py, in the PySpark code, we've got expressions that are date, uh, date date stage specific, such as current date or date since from date, 
they get converted to corresponding um, PySpark uh, Pi syntax and corresponding PySpark Pi functions. So for example, they since from date gets converted to date diff. The first argument of current date gets converted to current underscore date function call. And same here, current date gets converted to current underscore date. Now, how does the converter know how to do that? Um, this is the reason why we have the configuration file. And within the configuration file, you as the user can set up the conversion patterns uh, that will tell the converter how to tackle either token substitutions or function substitutions. So for example, we can tell the converter under the function substitution section that whenever it encounters function call days since from date to create this output template where date diff function gets called and the two arguments that are being passed originally to the uh, to the date stage function will be invoked. Now, these arguments do not necessarily represent single tokens. They can represent nested function calls, and this is something that the converter will handle. Another example would be if we have Julian two date uh, Julian two Gregorian function call, it will be substituted with this format, which is compatible with PySpark, and so on. So we can have as many function substitution specifications as necessary. And the way we'll know what to plug into this section is by running the analyzer, BladeBridge analyzer, that will provide information on what all the functions are that they stage calls across all the jobs. Also in the configuration file, you can uh, specify how to set up your readers and writers. So for example, you can create classes of your connections for Redshift or for Teradata. You don't need to call them relational. They, uh, they can be called anything else uh, and can have their own class. But then you can construct a command that deals with, let's say, reader Redshift or reader Teradata or reader relational in general. And you can tell the converter uh, what exactly to plug in as a template into the generated code. And this is how these lines are constructed. All right, so the endpoints into the database or flat file are, are templated. Uh, the language itself is, uh, is configurable. The, the conversions of the, of the date stage language are configurable using these two sections. Uh, so just to summarize, uh, to convert data state jobs to PySpark using BladeBridges converter, you first need to export an XML file out of date stage environment, or it could be a collection of multiple XML files. Set up the configuration file, which sometimes takes hours, sometimes minutes, sometimes it's an iterative process, and then run the converter, and that will produce a PySpark code that, that is functionally equivalent to the date stage job. That concludes today's presentation. Thanks for listening in.